Hi, this is Brad Linder, and I'm taking a look today at Dolphin Browser HD, the latest version, which is 6.0, and it has uh, one major new feature here, which is called WebZine. So when you first launch, you get the same speed dial system that you used to have, where you can set up shortcuts to your uh, favorite pages, um, and just go ahead and open those with a single click. And you've got support for browser tabs at the top, which is something that's long set Dolphin apart from uh, other browsers, although many others have uh, started to do the same thing in that time. And also has the other major features, such as being able to drag to the side for bookmarks, drag to this side for other settings, and the ability to install add-ons of various sorts. But let's take a look at WebZines, which is the major new feature in version 6.0. And when you go to the... Um, new tab window here. What you'll see is speed dial in one tab and webzine on the other. And you can create a number of different webzines here by adding a column and choosing from a long list with hundreds of different news sites, CNN, BBC, Cinematical, uh, New York Times, uh, TV Squad, and so forth. And once you choose um, the, uh, the news sources that you want to put in here, you can just go ahead and click them. Let's open up BBC News. And you get a nice sort of streamlined for mobile magazine style interface here and a drag to refresh button at the top. So if you've had it open for a little while, want to see if there's something new, you just drag and refresh. Um, so we've got here uh, little photos, snippets of text, headlines, and we just click on one and we get a stripped down version of the web page and we can uh, go ahead and read without actually opening the full web page. Now you're just getting a snippet here though. Uh, this is, as far as I can tell, taken from the RSS feed. So if you want to view the entire article, you're going to still have to go to the full website and click the View Original Article uh, button, which opens it in a new tab. And so that still takes a little while to load. But you can see that the webzine, for sort of a quick preview, um, gives you a much faster look. Now there's also a couple of social widgets. You can use Facebook and Twitter, for instance. So let's take a look at... Facebook. When I first fired this up, I had to log in with my Facebook credentials, and we can see the latest updates from my Facebook um, feed, including latest stories from Obiputing, Lilliputing, and from my friends. And again, you get sort of a st streamlined view here of these articles, uh, just sort of the snippet that shows up in the RSS feed. So if somebody makes the full article available, actually in this case it looks like just the snippet that's available on uh, Facebook, and really Mobiputing and Lilliputing should be making more than this much available. So it's not perfect, but it, um, it does sort of provide a nice, nice look and feel, and it doesn't seem to slow down the browser at all. Uh, it's still a generally pretty fast web browsing experience. Uh, when somebody posts a link in Twitter, you can go ahead and click that link and see what happens. It's a little hard to press that properly, it looks like, but then it opens the web page. So, um, as sort of a Twitter and Facebook client, that's uh, another interesting way that you could use the WebZine feature. Um, overall, Dolphin HD tends to be uh, one of the most powerful, one of the most customizable browsers available for Android. Um, generally pretty fast, uses the WebKit rendering engine. So while we're starting to see other browsers like Firefox Mobile hit the scene with interesting approaches towards plugins and extensions and other things, uh, Dolphin HD is still sort of the, the browser to beat, as far as I can tell. This is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing and a first look at Dolphin Browser HD 6.0 for Android.